Hi, you guys. So I'm going to do a gossip video. I promised I would start doing these again after Beverly Hills ended. So I thought I'll share some gossip with you to do with Beverly Hills. Just quick. I want to let you know that I found out that Sutton and Kathy Hilton really didn't have a problem with each other. And the truth is, is that it was kind of blown out of proportion in the edit of the reunion. They made it look a lot more awesome than it really was. Turns out Sutton and Kathy didn't really have any kind of fight. They were fine during the reunion, really. After the reunion, like recently going out together and all this stuff. And so it was really produced. I just want to say that to you. And I looked into this too. Kim Richards was supposed to be at the reunion as the Bravo babe called out. And at a last minute, she chose not to go on very Kim Richards. Nothing's changed apparently since season two. But she was supposed to go on and show her support for Kyle, although I think she would have been really triggered uh, with Sutton about what she said during the dinner party from hell, another one. Uh, knowing Kim, I know she would have really gone off her rocker on that. But she didn't want to go. Typical Kim. It's possible it was just too early in the morning, and she just doesn't care. <laughs> she really doesn't. Um, or she wasn't up to it. You never know with Kim. But what I wanted to tell you was she definitely was supposed to be there. And I did check and none of the cast members knew Kim was coming. So she was supposed to be a surprise just like Kathy Hilton was supposed to be. Although they did a terrible job hiding Kathy Hilton because they told everybody 10 minutes before she came out. But needless to say, I thought you'd find that gossip interesting. So there was some confusion on what was meant by Kyle Richards' leaked messages to Dorit Kemsley. Yes, on the show, as you guys saw, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Reunion Season 13, we see Dorit's messages and she reads part of them to the camera and to Erica Jane Girardi, not the full message. And then right after the full show aired, the full message Kyle sent to Dorit was leaked onto Instagram. Okay, I think to big wig Hello Drama was the person who received the leaked message, the full one. And people were wondering who leaked the message, the full one. Now, Dorit went on podcasts and said it was the powers that be that leaked these messages. The day before the reunion, you send me a message and it was let's not mention anything here and let's stick together. And the things, I mean, it's out there now. So, you know, you can see it. It just felt like an even bigger slap in the face. And I just thought to myself, I'm not a doormat. Yes, I have a kind heart, but I really care about you. And I really believe that we're friends. This is not the way you treat a friend. There was obviously no way I was going to go into the reunion and not address the issues that we're having in our friendship and what the hell was going on. Well, the, the, the upsetting thing is, listen, I discussed it with Erica in the trailer before the reunion and someone leaked the text message. It was not me. I can tell you that right here, right now. Who was it? What does it rhyme with? I have absolutely <laughs> no idea, but I shouldn't say I have no idea. I don't know who did, but I have an idea. Listen, it's going to be the powers that be because they're the ones that had the text message. Which would mean... The producers. Now, I found out some very interesting information, which is that Evolution is not really producing The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills anymore in the way that it has been in the past. And I'm going to tell the patrons all about this in my bonus audio on Tuesday. I found out some really shocking information about how the shows are being managed, which explains why the Valley is such a cluster, uh, because it was not done by the same companies that normally do these shows, et cetera. But I know all the details now, and oh, it makes so much more sense than it did before. But needless to say, this message that we're looking at right here specifically shows Kyle calling the show toxic and saying, I don't know how much longer I can do this show. It's so toxic and creates so much anxiety for me. Anyway, let me know if you, if you want to talk, right? So the, 
The producers would never leak this text based on that one comment, which is why they honed in on a whole separate section and didn't show the full text message. So the producers would never leak this message. I don't care what Dorit says. So then I looked into Erica, whether she leaked it, because she was obviously read it, and it, you could assume that Dorit sent it to Erica and found out she didn't do it. And then I was like, who did it? It probably won't surprise you that all the people I spoke to seemed to circle it right back around to PK and Dorit. So the truth on who dropped this message is it was Dorit and PK who dropped this message and no one else, no powers that be, okay? And that is the view of people on the ground. And now you know why Kyle Richards called Dorit a snake, not publicly, but privately. And Farrah Brittany broke up with her fiance, Alex Manos. That just was announced officially, but everybody kind of figured it out in 2023 in the summer. You know who he is. This is him. He's a classic car salesman in Beverly Hills. Yep. They weren't seeing eye to eye on things. I don't know. I'm happy. I think Brittany's too young to get married. She could last a little longer in L.A., single and really make a good choice for herself. So I think we're going to get a lot of the juice on Kyle Richards and Mauricio's relationship blowing up on Buying Beverly Hills season two, because it's going to really help Mauricio and the show. And Kyle wants to help her daughters who are getting a paycheck off that show. And it's their future. Like they're making themselves into real celebrities in their own right. And I know Kyle would want that for her kids. So she'd be perfectly happy to not have this play out on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and have it play out on Mauricio's show, which she gets a piece of and her whole family benefits from. Whereas Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, only she does. And she doesn't really, I think, like the show that much based on the text message I just read you the end of that she sent to Dorit. Plus, things are changing behind the scenes with Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and that's what the T is that I found out. More on that later. It's late, very, very late, so I'm going to go to bed. (laughs) Good night, you guys. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. More are coming.